Drift 2023. Wow, this is such an amazing film. I think I've shed the most tears with this film this year, apart from all of us strangers back in January, six and a bit months ago. This is a drama directed by Anthony Chen. It's about a woman called Jacqueline. She's played by Cynthia Erivo, and we meet her on a Greek beach. Greek island, I'm not sure which one, but it's very popular. It's the height of the summer season. The beaches are so packed. I don't really enjoy beaches where everyone's cheap by jowl. I think I prefer slightly more spaced out beaches. Jacqueline is walking along and she observes someone offering to give a foot massage to someone on the beach and it being accepted she watches them and then takes it upon herself to do something similar she earns her first euro the woman who accepts it gives a 20 euro note and I think wow that's yeah that's the contrast um, and the next time she does it she's up the price to five euro she's been entrepreneurial she needs the money because when you see her eat she's absolutely savouring the food like like she hasn't eaten for ages before long you realise she is down and out she's sleeping on the beach she's found a secluded cove somewhere quiet to bed down for the night and she's in total survival mode she's trying to run away from men who are interested in her that is really difficult any woman who is alone does attract attention especially when young and this shows the fear she's quite lucky to get away from one guy who when she's trying to ring London and it turns out there's this backstory that slowly comes about we get to see elements of her past it's a really poignant heartbreaking story wow just so amazing absolutely love this story the title drift i chose to see it last night and it's pretty pivotal time in my life things are changing and yes i recognize the layers of privilege that i have i'm not in the kind of circumstances that Jacqueline is and I appreciate every one of those privileges that I have many factors and some things I'm not so lucky on it's so prescient it's so topical right now anyone who's got a sense of empathy will be able to see from this story I really hope we'll see how difficult the plight we find out that she's managed to reach this greek island there's not a lot of detail about that but she's got southern english accents when she meets people and they ask where she's from she gives various answers she just says she's from london to some people but when people say things like where are you really from which is such an obnoxious question that's just awful she's really from london so that's the fact of it but she's got family from liberia and the setting is the late noughties, I think. You can hear conversations going on, the news. There's talk about the Brown government and about Tony Blair, uh, sort of probably sometime between 2007, 2009. That's my impression from that, those news bulletins. Jacqueline's going on a holiday to see family in Liberia. There's a war going on. Uh, there's militia, very young militia. And that is really shocking when you get to see child soldiers and you get to see elements of it early on and from that I gathered things weren't going to turn out too well just the way Jacqueline reacts to things like fireworks lately on the news there's been quite a lot of talk about the 11th of September attacks I think there's court cases coming up those events just seeing them on the television quite scary I was starting an architecture and environment course in Ochenthev the Centre for Alternative Technology and military exercises were being conducted seeing these low-flying planes breaking the sound barrier roaring right through the valleys of mid-wells it actually felt 
like we were in a war zone at times. At that time, we just didn't know what was about to happen. So for a few months afterwards, I was pretty fearful about what things were about to happen. During October and into November, there's usually fireworks in the UK. And that year, 2001, all the fireworks, the sounds triggered me. I suffer from tinnitus. I've got a heightened sense, really panics me. What I'm trying to say is that all of this made me feel so much for Jacqueline when people were throwing firecrackers in the street. You can see her jumping. I really empathise so much with her. I mean, she's surviving. She's trying to keep it together. She's trying to avoid the police. I mean, she's got this story about being on a holiday with her husband. She meets this American tour guide who takes tourists to a monument that was built for Nemesis. So they go up in this mountain and Jacqueline's seeking refuge up there. And so she encounters this tour guide who's called Kelly. Yay! <laughs> I love the name Kelly. I spoke slightly differently though. They strike up a really strong friendship possibly more they seem very close they could just be very very good friends slightly understated lgbtq but there's also in the backstory we get to see one of jacqueline's friends from london helen and they're just so warm to the characters so jacqueline's trying to get in touch with her friend from london because she's stuck in greece so much going on i think it's beautiful i'm going to score it 9.3 Five, which is probably the highest score I've given a film on here. Just loved it. Absolutely loved it. Want to watch it again. It's partly the circumstances for this week, just all the events that have been happening, I mean, the groups that have been stirring up trouble. Rights in Southport, of all places, a town that's been awfully wounded by what happened. This film is a wonderful antidote. I'd love to hear what you think. If you've seen this film, thanks for Subscribe and if you do, please like if you like this video. And I really hope to see you again soon. Thanks. Bye for now.